A couple of years ago, I was invited to go to London for a funeral of an old mate of mine, a man called Gordon, who actually lived on the River Thames on a boat, and he lived near Twickenham, opposite Eel Pie Island in the Thames. And he had friends all over the area. He was a very popular man, as it turns out. I had no idea when we were making the film. I'll tell you about his boat in a minute, but I have to tell you something about his funeral. When he went to church, they took him in there in a little boat with a lid on, and that was his coffin. And rather than hiring an undertaker, his mates put it on top of an old Volvo and they took it to church and they carried it in and there was hardly room for him. The church was heaving with people because he was such a popular guy. He was a lovely man and he could teach us all a lot about work-life balance. That was Gordon's thing. He didn't work too hard, but when he did, he didn't mind getting his hands dirty. And one day he found a Sharpie on the River Thames that was in desperate straits. It was an old boat. This is a dinghy, really. And he found it on Eel Pie Island. And the old gentleman who had had it donkeys years ago, probably in the 50s, because I think the boat must date from the 30s. Um, in the 50s, this old gentleman had it. And he remembered the story of the boat. And Gordon talked with him and he said, well, you can have the boat if you can sort it out. And Gordon did. He got stuck into it. He did an awful lot of varnishing. It leaked something terrible, but he didn't give up. He kept going. But his real problem was the rig. And that was where I came in, actually. It was lucky for him that I happened by, because I know a lot about rigs. I may not know much about many things, but I know about rigs. And we laid it all out on the ground and we sorted it out. And we got a result of sorts. And the great day dawned when the boat was going to go into the water in the River Thames at Eel Pie Island, made famous by the Rolling Stones for their 1960s rock concerts. There we were. We put it in the water. Well, if you watch on, you'll find out what happened.